let's see subtraction table in mode 5. Subtraction table in modulo 5. Now, 0 minus 0 will give me 0. 0 minus 1 is minus 1. You, will, you cannot write minus 1 here. You will not take this minus 1 to mode 5. Don't forget how to solve that. Remember that when you have minus 1, it's the same thing as minus 1 times 5. Plus, what will it give you? Minus 1, that's plus 4. Do you get that now? Because minus 1 times 5 will give me minus 5. And minus 5 plus 4 will give me minus 1. So my answer is 4 in mode 5. Do you get that now? So you do the same way. 0 minus 2, that's minus 2. What will be the equivalent? That's minus 1 times 5 plus 3. Because minus 1 times 5 will give me minus 5. And minus 5 plus 3 will give me minus 2. So this is what? 3. The next one will be 2. The next one will be 1. Do you get that now? So this minus this is 1. This minus this is 0. This minus this is minus 1. So and I'm going to be having 4. If you understand this one very well, you're going to have 4. This minus this is minus 2. And I'm going to be having 3. This minus this is minus 3. If you have minus 3, that is minus 1 times 5 plus 2. Do you get that? So we are going to be having 2. 2 minus 0, that is 2. 2 minus 1, 1. 2 minus 2, 0. 2 minus 3. What is 2 minus 3? That is minus 1. So what is the positive equivalent? That is 4. 2 minus 4, that is minus 2. What is the positive equivalent? That is 3. 3 minus 0 is 3. 3 minus 1 is 2. 3 minus 2 is 1. 3 minus 3 is 0. 3 minus 4 is minus 1. What is the positive equivalent number? That is what? 4. The next one. 4 minus 0, that is 4. 4 minus 1, that is 3. 4 minus 2, that is 2. 4 minus 3, that is 1. 4 minus 4, that is 0. So, you can see, mass is 4. Do you notice anything? May I notice I have 0 here, 1 here, 2 here, 3. See the pattern, it's very lovely. So, mathematics is fun. Do you get that? So, let's continue.